Subscapers and welcome to the Curse of Arak Fest Guide. The quest requirements are Defender of Arak, Missing My Mummy, with the Zenlit and Fully Restored, Shades of Morton, The Tale of the Maspa, Troll Romance, and a recommendation would be Edgar's Roos, because you get the Trollheim teleport from that one. But it is not necessary. For the skill requirements, we have 37 Slayer, 41 Summoning, 61 Agility, 64 Ranged, 64 Strength, 64 Mining, 66 Thieving, and Iron Men need 59 Fletching to make the Mithril Crapple. The item requirements are 3 12 Berries, Sacred Oil, any those works, if you are an Iron Man and you need to get that yourself, don't bring that well berries with you. A ring of life, any crossbow, a mithril crapple, insulated boots, a macav pouch, one super restore potion, around 5000 coins, combat equipment, and 8 free inventory slots. The recommended items are food, one super energy potion, trollheim teleport if you have the Edgar Shoes completed, or bring the climbing boots from your bank. If you don't have them, we are getting them doing the quest. A ring of slaying, otherwise we will be using the magic carpet rides. The recommended Dunlocks are low stones to Alcarid, Burthorp, and Varrock. The enemy to defeat is Arav, who is level 91. Some noteworthy things to mention are to not use the eat food ability. I ate my 12 berries, so yeah. Anyways, let's go. To start off, use the low stone to Alcarid. We are heading to Ali Device in North Narda, and I will be using the magic carpet rides. If you have the Ring of Slaying, use the Teleport to Sumona and talk to the nearby Rock Merchant and select Narda. Right click the Rock Merchant, select Travel and then Narda. Go east of the T sign, it is that building. Talk to Ali Device. Accept the quest and select the chair options, where is the tunnel entrance. Time for me to go to Trollwise then. Use the lowstone to Perthorpe, we are heading to Freda to get our climbing boots. Talk to Freda and select the share options. Can I buy some climbing boots? Buy standard boots for 12 GP. Now we are heading through Trollheim Mountains. Remember to put on your climbing boots and let's go. If you have the Trollheim teleport, now is the time to use it.
enter the cave entrance, go around the passage and enter the cave entrance again. Alright, now we are heading into the snowy area, head all the way northwest, remember to protect from rains. And now you can turn off the prayer. Enter the cave entrance to your west. Then follow the path all the way to the northwest. Head east. Enter the cave entrance. In this place you have to mine all of the rubbles from each direction. So you have to go around this place a lot to mine the rocks from different directions. Alright, now we can continue. Pick up the tablet from the ground and proceed to mine these rubbles. Right around here you should find another tablet, pick it up. Head east and pick up another tablet from the ground. Proceed to mine more rubble. Proceed to east and head south. Here's another stone tablet, pick it up from the ground and mine some rubble.
Now we need to go to the other side. And mine those rubbles once again. Now to the last side, we need to go around a little bit. Mind these rubbles. Go around again. Head to east, this is the last rubble spot to mine, then you are done with this part. Enter the room to the east, search the bookcases until you get the notes. Climb up the stairs. Talk to Arab to your north and this will start a fight. Make sure to have at least two free inventory slots, head to the southern room and search the tapestry on the west wall. Now visit a bank, get three twelve berries from your bank, sacred oil and a ring of life. Leave one empty inventory slot. Then we are heading back to Ali Device. So use the lodestone to Alcarid and head south through the Sante Pass and travel by using the Rock Merchant's Narda option. If you have the Ring of Slaying, use the teleport to Sumona and talk to the nearby Rock Merchant and select Narda. Talk to Ali Device. Go back to the carpet rights. Right click the rock merchant and select the user option. Now we are heading to the pyramid, so go all the way south 
until you see a pyramid to your east and enter it. Go to the northwestern corner. Head south through the door. Climb down the stairs, head south through the puzzle. The easiest way across the path is to use the blue and green tiles. If you don't see those, use the red and yellow tiles. You can also just go through this and eat some food if you don't find any easy path. Head south and talk to Senliten. Make sure you have at least one free inventory slot and you will get a canopic jar. In your inventory, right click the cigarette oil and use it to the empty canopic jar. Then right click, right click the 12 berries and use them to the canopic jar. Lastly, right click the ring of life and use it to the canopic jar. Use the lodestone to Alcarid. We are using the magic carpet rights to your south again and we are heading back to Alitivice. If you have the ring of slaying, use the teleport to Sumona and Talk to the nearby rock merchant and select Narda. Talk to Ali Device. Use the lodestone to work. We are heading to the work castle, so go all the way north. Climb up the stairs in the northwestern corner two times. Talk to Hartwin and select the chat option yes.
climb down the trapdoor to your south and go through this place again. Just follow the passage. Protect from melee so you don't take so much damage from the zombies. Just keep following the passage. Head to the northeastern room. Put on your insulated boots and enter the pipe to south. Go around this place to the red dot on your minimap. Click on the pipe. Summon your Makav. Right click the familiar icon. Click the interact option and select the remote view. Head to the southern room and search all of these tables. You should find some notes and a decoper strips. Pick lock the chest to your south. And then read the code key. Write the code down. Head north and click on the eastern door. Now we need to figure out the correct number for your code. To your right, drag the first panel to the first letter you have in your code. This will reveal your first number. Then the second letter, drag the second panel from the right to the letter you have in your code. If you have the same letter as me, track the panel from the left back to the right and put the correct panel to the letter. This will reveal another number. Write it down. And lastly, the fourth panel. Drag it from right to the left to your correct letter and this will reveal the final number. Now we will enter the code. Use the up arrows and down arrows to find the right number. It is the first one and then click on the right arrow to put the number in. If you made a mistake, you can use the left arrow. Go through all of the numbers you got and this should open the door. After you're done, open the metal door. and wield your crossbow as well as the mithril grapple. Then click on the pipes to your east and you will get this animation. Take the pedestal from your east. Use the lodestone to alcarid. We are heading back to Ali device, so it is the same thing. Let's go south and use the magic carpet rights to Narda. If you have the ring of slaying, use the teleport to Sumona and talk to the nearby rock merchant and select Narda.
talk to Ali Device, and that's the end of the quest. Congratulations, the Curse of Ara quest completed. You can get rid of the notes, the tablets, keep the decoder strips, they are used for ritual of the Magjarat. This quest is required for completing Dimension of Disaster, Dimension of Disaster, Curse of Arav, and the Temple at Sentisten. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and see you in the next one.